Welcome everyone. If you're watching today's show on the YouTube channel, please check out jjflazanes.tv. We have Charlene Parks with us today. I'm so excited to introduce to you Charlene. If you're listening on the podcast, come on over to the video also and check us out. We're gonna have a lot of fun today. I, and I'm really excited to bring you today's topic because we're gonna be talking about so many different things that are alive in culture right now and how we're all thinking about moving from where we are to where we want to be and the steps that we need to take to get there and taking our power back and and not allowing today's cultural things going on to really disempower you, to make you become a victim, and for you to give up any of the dreams that you have for yourself. So uh, without further ado, thank you and welcome Charlene to the show. Hello, JJ, how are you? I'm great, thank you. <laughs> So Charlene, full disclosure, is part of my Inner Circle Mastermind group. And I I really am so appreciative that she found me and that she took a chance and came to the Manifestation Boot Camp where I launched the, manif the Inner Circle Mastermind. And she was one of the first people to join it. And what I love about Charlene is that she was already a business owner, already doing a lot of business and out there changing the world. And Charlene, let's talk a little bit about our story, like how we met, how you found me, what you were looking for, and then let's weave that into your business journey to tell people what's next for you and how you're helping others. Absolutely. So I started my business in 2017. Mm, yes, 2020. So yes, 2017. And um, I do IT staffing. Uh, I, we provide IT services such as web design, uh, consulting, project management, just a wide array of things. So as a new business owner, I contracted myself out to one of our clients. So I had long commutes, I was on the road, and I was kind of into law of attraction and, and elevating my, you know, my energy. And, and I kept saying, I need a mastermind, I need a mastermind. So I just started looking for podcasts to listen to while I was commuting every day. So I was commuting about two hours a day. I found uh, spirit, purpose, and energy. And while I was binging your show on the road you said i have a ma uh, you had a manifestation boot camp and i was like i'm there i'm going and all the time i was um seeking a mastermind like seriously i was looking for a mastermind group but none of the masterminds i found quite fit where i was in my journey nor did those people look like me or feel like me or <laughs> Or, or any of that. So um, while I was attending the manifestation boot camp, I was like, first I was kind of trying to figure, figure out, okay, is this for real? What's going on? Let me see. And I was like, I like her. Okay. I like, I like this community. And I think uh, the second day, maybe you brought up the uh, mastermind and I was like, Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. So um, I went back to my room and I looked over all the paperwork and everything in my mind was saying, no, 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 you're not doing this. You don't know anything. You don't know what, what this is going to be. You're not going to just buy something. And then the next morning I woke up and I was like, you're doing this. <laughs> 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 and so that was the first journey on following my intuition because everything within me said, you need to do this. But my head was like, you're not you know, costs. You're a small business owner. You're always thinking about costs. And then I started saying, you can write this off. This is a business expense. This is an investment. So that is how I found you. And, <laughs> and I'm so glad you did. You were, I have to say out of anyone that's taken action, I think you were the fastest. So when I found out that you were a triple Sag or you've got like three planets in Sag somewhere, mm -hmm. I was like, oh, that's why. Because when you heard, it's like you were looking, you heard what you were looking for and you jumped on it. Like there was mm -hmm. no hesitation mm -hmm. and no, you know, no disrespect to any of you that have been listening for years and years and years, because <laughs> maybe there's nothing that you, you want until, mm -hmm. you know, there's a, a certain point in which you go, oh, now I have something that I want and I trust you and now I'm going to take the leap. Yeah. And you weren't signing up for anything major at that moment. I mean, you came to the event, but it's just yeah. a three day event. It yeah. wasn't any you know, year long program out of the gate until you came to the event. So yeah. what I love is that you represented a couple different things for me. You probably have the most advanced business of ever anyone in the group. 
while mm-hmm. you weren't working 100%, like you were in your business, but like you said, you had contracted yourself out. Mm-hmm. So, so you kind of were juggling, I'm working for somebody, even though it's still under the umbrella of my own business, mm-hmm. because that takes time and it's time you're not spending working on your business because you're working in your business. In your business, yeah. Right, and now, now you're working 100% in your uh, on your business instead of in your business so so let's talk a little bit about amika and your background and and what you wanted to offer to the world and also some of the the mission based offerings that you have like what we've been talking about during this time and space right now absolutely uh so i've um my background is in it i have an undergraduate degree in information technology and i have a master's degree in um business and project management. And I took some doctoral classes in security assurance. So I'm all about IT and tech. Uh, So I've been working for over 20 years, managing projects for big corporations. I've been doing um, software development, um, website design. I've always been in that space. And then I started to work as a project manager for several different companies. I've worked for Ford Motor Company. I've worked for um, E-Trade. I've worked for NCR. And I was contracting and I was thinking, well, if I can contract for another firm, why can't I contract myself or others and pay them a, a nice wage and also couple that with educating them? Um, So it's kind of became a passion because I didn't like um, the market at the time. So you'll submit a resume and you never hear anything back. So the whole premise of Amika was to be kind of, to, to marry my client's needs with my, um, job seeker skill set, And then to, if, you know, if the job seeker does not have the skills that they need to fulfill that role, I can help them get there and then, and then coach them on, here's what you need to be successful in this market while also meeting my clients' needs because they complain about not being able to find people with all the skills that they need. So that is how Amika started. Tell tell everybody what Amika stands for or means. (laughs) All right, so my father uh, was Charles Roden and his middle name was Terry. So he wanted me to have his initials. So it's Charlene Tamika and um, Amika is kind of a play on my middle name to kind of um, honor him. And he loved my middle name and he gave it to me. So I could not find a business name that really was, that felt right. So that was, you know, I, um, when we came up with that, I was really happy with that. So that's Amika. <laughs> now through the time, through our time together, mm-hmm. we've focused on a different, a couple of different things. So for those of you that are out there and you're wanting to move levels of your job, mm-hmm. explain to everybody the certifications that you offer and the classes that you offer and the career coaching and development into another level. You know, I know, especially during the time of Black Lives Matter, you know, Charlene is a beautiful black woman, very strong, independent black woman. And one of the things I know you've complained about, and it feels like hurtful for you, is the disempowerment of a lot of people thinking that they can't do more. And especially in tech, right? Like wanting to empower more women in tech, more people of color in tech, more ethnicities in tech, because as you said before, it's all a bunch of old white men. And, um, And which is, which is probably true on some half of the, of the world, maybe not the other half of the world. Right. (laughs) But in, but in the, in the middle of the United States, anyway, we have that there's a dominate, there's a, you know, a domination, if you will, of, of, and it's fine of white, old white men Mm -hmm. or white men, but from a perspective of either a single female who is a mom or anyone that just wants a better lifestyle, let's talk about the ways in which you have created opportunity for people who want to move up, make a higher wage, have a better job, get out of the situation that they're in? Yeah, absolutely. So um, when I started the company, I did not, um, I called us career coaches. So myself and some contract recruiters, we were working and I always said, we are not recruiters, we are career coaches. We are helping people get to the next level in their lives. But it didn't even dawn on me to offer that as a service. It was just, I want to empower people to do better. Uh, So, when I um, put a job out, for example, 
they're all IT and project management roles. 90% of the resumes I get are, are not representative of, of, of my culture or black and brown people. So, and I, and I started to wonder why, why is that? Are we not confident enough? Do we not have the skills that we need? Do we, are we just not interested? I don't know. So um, my mission has been to teach, teach people, teach you, um, create a pathway for you to get to those careers. And it doesn't have to be um, with a college degree. A lot of these tech jobs, if you're good at what you do and you um, have gone and, and gotten, you know, certified in a certain area like cybersecurity, they don't, they don't care if you have a degree, you know, you, they'll hire you and it's a very good wage. You don't have to spend a hundred grand on a degree. You can <laughs> still get that job. But a lot of people, either they're not knowledgeable about it or they're intimidated or I'm, I'm really not sure, but um, that's been my passion and my mission is to educate. So I hold uh, workshops to educate people on the different types of certifications that they can get. Um, there's project management certifications, business analysts, cybersecurity, um, web design, programming. Um, there's all kinds of certifications that you can get. And um, recently I've started coupling that with career coaching. So the career coaching is kind of taking them through that path, right? So we're going to talk about where you are and where you want to, you know, go or where you want to be. And then what's keeping you from getting there? Um, is it finances? Is it um, time? You know, and then we create an action plan around, okay, in one year, here's where I want to be. And this is how much money I want to earn. So um, I've had a career coaching seminar. So I, that is my um, my way of empowering is to educate, and now I'm offering career coaching to help them. Um, you know, you can educate people, but sometimes you need a little bit more to get you from that one step to the next. So I think you have a free gift at uh, amicaconsultinggroup.com forward slash career coaching. Yes, I have a six step process ebook uh, to help you earn the money that you desire, and it takes. Um, it takes you through setting goals, um, your personal branding strategy. Um, your your you have to walk your talk, right? So if you want to uh, make six figures, you shouldn't be acting and talking like, you know, twenty five k. So this kind of takes you, you know, your social media presence is so huge, and a lot of people don't realize that when recruiters are um, vetting you for a possible role, they're vetting you on everything, not just your skills, but if they go to your page and you've got, um, you know, bathing suit pictures and they're gonna say, how does that mesh with our our brand and what we wanna put out there, especially in today's climate with, you know, everybody's like cyber stalkers almost. <laughs> <laughs> go into your social media pages and so just yeah so we create an action plan and then how to execute that how do you check back in to make sure you're on track so i always say that um in corporate i was giving goals to meet right i had quarterly and annual goals that i had to meet to qualify for my bonus so why do we not um in institute that kind of mindset in our personal lives what are our quarterly what are our annual or more monthly whatever that is map it out the same way okay i want to achieve this by this date and if i do that would allow me to do xyz you know so <laughs> i'm i'm chuckling because that's the reason why you were looking for a mastermind yeah. because you see that in order to be successful you have to have structure yeah. And in order to get from a place that you are to the next place, and especially to a new place you haven't been before, you need the support, the structure, and the education, mm -hmm. which can come in the form of, of a mastermind. And I love that you told yourself it was tax deductible, because it is, yeah. especially when you have a business, right? <laughs> so for those of you that are listening on the podcast, you can go to the show notes for the link to the free gift, the six steps to figure out how you can get from where you are to a better paying job and better position in your in your career and it's amika consulting group.com that's m sorry that's a m e k a amika consulting group.com forward slash career coaching 
Now, I also, because of our group, we've talked about one of the skill sets that you have, which I love because I'm going to be working with you on a project. We're creating a little sad business together here, which <laughs> might take over everyone's business, actually, because if once it's successful, we can, there's so many people we can offer it to. Mm -hmm. um, but Charlene also builds websites. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I had asked her to do, for some of you, you either have a business on the side or you are an entrepreneur or, or you're not and you just work for somebody. So Charlene has a little bit of everything or something for all of you, right? If you want to move up in your current career, you want to go get that free, that free gift we just talked about. And there's also career coaching available. And if you want to know how to be more successful as a side business or full-time entrepreneur, um, let's talk about the six easy steps to building a profitable website for beginners. You're doing a, a webinar on that on yes. August 25th. Yes. yes. Tell us about that. Okay, so um, in that workshop, we will go from uh, securing a domain name to setting up your email, professional email, um, and then we'll walk through the steps of building out a website, an e-commerce website, where you can add products and integrate with your, um, you know, your mail, uh, if, if you want to have a mail integration there. And we'll just walk through from beginning to end how you can build your own website. Um, for your business or your side business or even for your um, your online profile. Uh, I do, going back to the career coaching, I always advise my um, clients to have an online profile outside of LinkedIn so you can build that as well. Just having those skills, especially if you're going into, you know, the IT realm or, you know, in that space, it's, it's always a, um, a good skill set to have. So that is amicaconsultinggroup.com forward slash website. And if you are hearing this before August 25th, 2020, then you can still get in on the free live webinar that she's gonna be doing. And I'm sure there's gonna be some live Q and A's that happen. So there's a lot of benefit to being there live. Mm -hmm. If you are not seeing this before August 25th or hearing it, uh, it will be made available, maybe not like, maybe not on the 26th, but sometime after the 26th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 30th, September 1st, uh, it will be available. So make sure to check back so that you have access to watch and learn in the webinar that she will repost at amicaconsultinggroup.com forward slash website. So in terms of, you know, is this for someone who doesn't know anything at all, or do I have to know a little something about building a website? Uh, I think if you are savvy enough to get on social media and you are familiar and comfortable with the computer, you should be fine. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, just because there might be someone out there, you know, I know that I talked to a lot of people who some, many of them did not enroll in the mastermind because they were just at that crux of like leaving a job and starting their own business, or mm -hmm. they were doing their business part-time. So they weren't going to ever jump into a full-time thing. So I think a lot of people have talked themselves out of why would I need a website if I don't have a business or if I only have a part-time business, why would I invest that money into having a website? So what would you say to those people who are either part-timers or the ones that either think it's over their head or, you know, I don't need a website. Why would I need a website? Oh, everybody needs a web presence. If you're a business owner, uh, I, I would not downplay that at all. Before I buy a product, I'm Googling a person <laughs> just to see, do you have a website? And it it's the perspective, I'm sorry, the perception that you give a person. If I see that you put up a, a professional web presence, you have a professional email address, you have a way for me to contact you through a contact form or a phone number, it kind of raises my confidence in doing business with you. So I don't care what it looks like, just get something up and, and, and put it out there to show that you are a real player in the game. You know, if you say, oh, just call me at this number, I'm probably not going to call. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. There is a, there is another level of like, I'm serious, even if it's not, it doesn't have to be complicated, right? Like I mm -hmm. think what's the basic website, like four pages, three pages, yeah. five pages. Yep. You can have a three to five page website, just a contact page where you could say, here's a form. Let me put in my email, phone number about us, give a little backstory on who you are, what your services are. Um, you know, 
pricing if you want to put that out there and then whatever your products are if you're selling products it could even be three pages um just something to show here's what i here's what i'm offering here's how you contact me here's how you pay <laughs> onboarding a person you're taking your customer through, through a journey and their first introduction to you is where they land on your socials or on your website and that's their first um, you know, introduction to who you are. And then the more you give them and when they finally meet you, they've built up trust. So um, by the time they talk to you or someone that you've, you know, delegated to talk to them, they're ready. Sometimes they're ready to learn more and they're ready to move forward by the time they've contacted you. That's what I find anyway. Well, it's funny because right before this interview with you today, I had another one and the doctor who I had on the show was, she said she was cyber stalking me. She was uh, looking on all my social media and she was watching some of my, my videos and she was w looking at the Instagram posts on the different topics that I've been talking about because one of uh, the, one of the people she references in her book I've had on the show. So it already created an instant rapport, even though she was a referral from someone else who we know, like, and trust. She was there was there was even a deeper like yeah. next level rapport made from the moment she and I met on on video mm -hmm. because she had done a little research on me. So I do think that there's a point there for whether you're wanting to change careers. And you know what I really appreciate about the services that you offer that I haven't really heard anyone offer the way that you do, like you know, like the focusing on project management and these classes that you get like a certification and then the certification helps you to get like a better job and the career coaching and mm -hmm. the focus on IT and and elevating again the culture around mm -hmm job man job placement and career development and if you have a presence online that even just can be fun and whimsical and, and who you are but coupled with a, a, the side of you that is serious in your business or looks at your zone of genius or the, the skill sets that you have or that are unique to you mm -hmm. i think someone looking for an employee who is well-rounded yeah. right there, there's the people that don't do social media because they're afraid that or they're not allowed to because if they put something personal up that that's like not looked that's frowned upon in their in their industry but i think that for me if i'm looking at someone's social media profile and i see that they're they're fun personalities but then i also mm -hmm. see some things that are more credible and the things that, that the balance of that i think is important mm -hmm. in in they're wanting human. to hire somebody they're human right they're human remember they're when you're a hiring manager and you're looking to fulfill a role, I got to work with you. I've got to manage you. I kind of want to know that I'm going to like you a little bit. <laughs> what kind of person are you? Yes, you may have all of the degrees, all of the certifications. You may have whatever, but if you're not a person that I want to work with, I am not going to hire you. The soft skills. Right. So I cover a lot of the soft skills. We do some assessments on what careers would work best for you. So like a programmer that usually don't have a whole lot of soft skills. <laughs> They're used to being so, behind a computer, not really very social, no social interactions. Yes. So one of the things that always gave me an advantage was that I had a I could persuade, you know, stakeholders on projects if I was doing you know if, if you're just straight and narrow and and this is the way it is and this, you know you can't think out of the box you're not real creative just that kind of you know assessment you do with a person you know when you go into the interview are you are you reading the room so I do mock interviews are you reading the room are you reading the body language are you prepared to answer the questions before they even ask you what they are like I have a list of questions when I was interviewing of anticipating what they were going to ask me. So I'm, oh yeah. So to answer your X, Y, Z, here you go. So, okay. So I think that, I think that what we're all, what we're kind of getting at with all the different services that you offer Charlene is how to help someone elevate their career path. Yeah. Regardless of if you are on a career path that is within corporate or mm -hmm. you're dabbling on the side or you're wanting to leave completely because you also design websites, right? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So Amika is, I envision Amika to be a full service IT services firm. So we offer IT and project management. And within IT, um, I've always gravitated toward web design. So I've, I want to stay in that space. So that is a service uh, that we offer. And everything is just about elevating to the next level, getting from 
A to B in making good money. So right now with the, um, you know, the, the state of the world and all these things that are happening, unfortunately, many, many people have lost their jobs. Um, many, many people don't have the luxury to work from home. Why? So you can, there's so many different creative ways to market yourself and it doesn't have to be a nine to five job. You could get a skill set, become really good at that skill set, and then contract your services out to small businesses like myself that don't want to hire people full time to do that thing and make very good money doing that, right? So that's a, a way that you can say, okay, I'm going to work from home. I don't want to go out. Um, I want to stay in and I want to work from my computer and I'm going to learn something like web design or digital marketing or project management, all of which you can freelance your services because right now with the way the world is going, we're going to need more IT professionals. Definitely. And uh, Charlene's not joking. Uh, she will need more help. <laughs> so those of you that those of you that do this and want to learn more, you know, definitely take advantage of either her free gift, the Amica Consulting Group .com forward slash career coaching, and learn a little bit more about what that means for you and see if there's some room for growth in there for you. And also attend her six easy steps to building a profitable website for beginners. Because even if you have some of these skills already, there may be something that you learn that you can help others do. And, and firms like Charlene, as they grow in scale, need to hire people who can yeah. be, who can help them do that yeah. because she doesn't want to have a staff of employees that she manages on some location somewhere. She wants to be remote working remote. who doesn't want to be remote working. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so make sure to, even if you're someone who's already kind of doing that, see if, if, if Charlene and you might be a fit and then in the future reach out, because uh, I will tell you right now, I will make this known to the world and to the universe that she will need help for no other reason than because of the business I'm going to be sending her because we're working on a project that is a very needed, needed project and needed service in my industry. And once we get that down and we see, and we've done our test groups, uh, we're going to roll that out. And I'm telling you right now, she's going to need a lot of help. So besides working like remotely for Amika, you also place people in jobs still, right? Correct. Yes. Um, so we currently have contracts with several states, uh, the state of Michigan, uh, Georgia, Iowa, Virginia, Arkansas, and there's one more, oh, District of Columbia. And we place IT and project management um, positions. So there's uh, network analysts, project managers, business analysts, program managers, um, and many of these people are hired uh, full time, and many of them are working remote right now. So, <laughs> and it's a very, very good paying roles. Uh, so, you know, I, I would like to see more people get, you know, the skills needed uh, to fulfill these positions. Me too, and I'd love you to help them. Yeah. <laughs> so, so let's talk about you in terms of your journey, because one of the things that's come up during our mastermind is your, you know, the attention to wanting to empower, empower people to take responsibility for their their wealth and for their careers and for their opportunities by getting more training, by getting more mm -hmm. education, but also thinking differently. So, take yourself as an example in terms of your growth in expansion, in thinking differently, in overcoming upper limits, you know, when you were saying when you were at the boot camp and that first night I mentioned it, uh, you know, and you're like, no, 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 no. Right. That's like, that's the upper limit of fear and scarcity. But like you allowed yourself to go to sleep and wake up and trust your intuition, which said, I'm doing this mm -hmm. and all of that. And that's, that's a, an upper limit. A lot of people hit all the time and never transcend. Mm -hmm. So talk about your own journey of being able to grow and, and get to the place where you are and then what's coming next for you. Well, it took it took a while. Um, I grew up. I'm a first generation business owner, um, and I was taught you go to school if you go to school, because uh, <laughs> I was a first generation uh, college graduate as well. So it was like you know, if you can get an education, you do that, and then you go when you work a job and you retire, and you live on a uh, fixed income until you die. <laughs> And for me, that just was like, 
it, it just sounded like this isn't the way I want. I know that is not what purpose I have for my life, but um, I did work for many, many years. And I always just felt that there was something more for me. Um, I didn't venture out because of fear. And then as I started to learn more about just elevating and attracting the things that I want in my life, um, I still have some fear and scarcity there, but I still just say, well, why am I fearful? Getting to the, the root of what can, what are the outcomes if this doesn't go the way that I want it to go? And once you make it smaller, it doesn't seem like that big of a deal. So leaving corporate was like, oh my gosh, everybody's like, are you crazy? Um, but on the flip side of that, what if this works and I'm successful? And what's the worst thing that could happen? Hmm, you can go back to corporate. <laughs> so, so just shifting my mindset and, um, you know, we're not the first people to, I'm not reinventing the wheel. There's plenty of people that have successful businesses and you, um, there's a quote that I love. Um, I'm not sure who said it, but it was pretty much saying success, success leaves steps. Like it leaves trails. Like there's a pathway for you. You just have to look and see how I, I listen to a lot of um, like Jeff Bezos and uh, Steve Jobs. I know it's weird. I'm listening to all these white men's biographies. <laughs> That's all right. I love I, I, them. I love them. Uh, so I learn a lot from, okay, how did the, the, the founders of Airbnb and, and um, uh, Lyft and Uber, right? That was right around the time when Obama was doing his inauguration and they were like, it would be cool if we had a car service. Remember when we were growing up, that was crazy. You're gonna get in a car with a stranger? What? <laughs> this is true. I totally forget that. You're right. I'm getting in a car with a stranger. And now look at that. We're hiring them all the time. <laughs> so I say, well, what's on the flip side of this? So um, I, I keep my mindset on where I wanna be and not what could go wrong. And whenever I feel myself you know, there's some upper limits that I've had to get over um, around scaling, just getting to the next level and worrying about money. And you're like, well, why are you worried about that? Don't worry about that. If money wasn't an issue for you, what would you be doing? And so whenever I find myself in that place where I'm thinking about that, I'll say, no, we're going to focus on what's next. What do you want to do? Where do you want to be? How are you going to get there? If money, don't even think about money because it's going to come. So focus on your end game. So that is where I am. And what's next for me? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> um, I see myself uh, having a team uh, to do uh, work in the different uh, verticals of the business. And I would really, really like to coach um, and speak and empower more. And I have a very, very special place in my heart for kids. So teaching kids about technology and um, how to, when I was growing up, it was all about tech. I don't know what happened, but <laughs> when I was growing up, it was all about engineer. You were either engineer, um, you were in IT some kind of way, you were going to do something like that. STEM, some kind of STEM career was it. Uh, so I really want to teach kids about something outside of TikTok and Snapchat, you know. <laughs> Look, you know, you and Alejandra are totally responsible. I'm not, I haven't even, every time you guys post something, I do not take the bait. I do not go down that rabbit hole because I'm like, uh-uh, because I don't want to be hours down the line. Oh, whoa, what time whoa. is it? I've been on this stupid thing. Time, I <laughs> right. But I, I agree with you and I, and I love that you're passionate about that. And I love that maybe you and Crystal might get together and do something about money and, and yeah. kids and technology. And I think that that's such a, that's such a great goal because as you've said, and as most people notice, I mean, kids are great at technology mm -hmm. just naturally, right? Naturally. They understand it, but then they don't even think about it. Like, well, I can get a job doing this. Mm -hmm. They don't think yep. about it strategically. I yep. know one of my friend's sons, he knows so much over the weekend we were talking to him and I'm like, why wouldn't he want to just do that? Yeah. Oh my gosh, he knows so much. He'd get, he'd get paid so much so fast for his knowledge and skill set. But again, it may not bring him joy, right? Like yeah. I'm all about, you got to find what brings you joy too. It's not just about chasing money. Um, right. 
but at the same time, when something comes so naturally to you and it's part of your zone of genius or part of your zone of excellence, at least it's a place to start. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, although I have educated myself, I am a big advocate of, you know, keeping debt low. (laughs) And some of that education, you know, you hear about it all the time. Some people are drowning in, in, in student loan debts for degrees that they can't even get jobs with. So, you know, if there's a high demand um, career that you seem to enjoy, why not get really good at that and then go after those jobs? Because usually on those types of jobs, they don't even ask, really. They say, do you have this certification? Have you been working in this skill set for this long? And sometimes it doesn't even have a degree on there. Degrees usually is optional. (laughs) Whereas... Which is going to be good news for everybody listening. Yeah. Yeah. So when we were coming up, it was, oh, you get a degree or you don't even get an interview, you know? So there's ways around that. And yeah, so that's my, my service to the world is (laughs) empowering the next generation of IT leaders is what I say. I love that. And for anyone, so I, I just put on the website, the general website, which is amicaconsultinggroup.com. If you just want to go check that out, but just as a reminder, uh, Charlene is doing on August 25th, the six mm-hmm. easy steps to building a professional website for beginners webinar. It is free. Yes. So you need to sign up. And to do that, you're going to go to amicaconsultinggroup.com forward slash website. Again, all of these links, if you're listening on the podcast, will be in the show notes. If you're watching it on the video, you see me changing the card <laughs> and the screen. So it's here up on the screen, but it will be in the show notes. And then if you want the free gift about elevating your career and if you're doing it right and how to interview and how to prepare yourself and uh, amicaconsultinggroup.com forward slash career coaching. Also, don't forget about that in case maybe the website thing isn't for you, but you know you need a little bit of help strategizing how to get the next level of where you want to be and elevate your career path, right? And um, if we could just, before we close out, Charlene, if there's anything you want to add, you know, we've done... You've done a, a testimonial video for the mastermind. We did an entire episode, which we'll be releasing in the next couple of weeks here on the show when we were all together. But if there's anything that's come up for you, like since then, if anyone's listening, what would you tell them? Either the biggest takeaway is either for you, and maybe that's probably the place to go. What's been your biggest takeaway about being part of the mastermind? Oh, it's been my my safe space. So before joining the mastermind, whenever I had business, because there. I love the mastermind because it couples business and personal and it's not just one or the other, but my, my biggest takeaway is having that space. Um, Before the mastermind, I was telling everybody and anybody who would listen about my business and they could care less. (laughs) And they probably, and they probably weren't very helpful either because they didn't know what you were doing. No, you're you're telling them, Oh, I've got to do these uh, financial statements. I've got to, they're like, I got to go to work tomorrow. Where do you, (laughs) it just wasn't there. It wasn't their thing. Um, But that's kind of what happens when you're, you know, a solopreneur, you're going to talk, you're bouncing ideas off of people that are like, Oh my God, your girlfriends, your family. It's not the people that you need to be talking to. (laughs) You need to be talking to people that are like you uh, that can offer some advice based on what they're going through, or even just being in that mindset to say, Hey, I've gotten so many ideas just from our um, bi-weekly calls of things you can try from marketing, from sales funnels to um, email integration to um, all kinds of things that I wasn't even, you know, emailing uh, your email blast, your, you know, just, I may be more advanced in the business part, but then the marketing and, you know, all of that just came is just such, it's been such a huge huge benefit to my business and myself um, when approaching, okay, how am I going to do this? Now I'm going on there making landing pages when before I'm like, I have a website. We don't need a landing page for. (laughs) (laughs) Good. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad because we're doing my own website. We're doing, um, by the time this has out, it's, you may have a moment to sign up for actually, no, it's already over (laughs) my, and I'll cut that out. The funnel cake. um, Oh yeah. (laughs) Yeah. I just, I know. I just did a, I just did a webinar called Funnel Cake to help people understand that people in business, like what those different parts and pieces are. So yeah, mm-hmm. 
Well, good. And I know you said a lot of really great things on the episode that I'll air as well in your video. And um, I just I wanted to. So for the people that have heard about it for so long last year at the end of the year, you know, wanted to give some faces. They've already heard Alejandra's story on here on the show. And now we and you've heard a little bit about Crystal's beginning story before the mastermind started. And now we have Charlene on the show. And and I just really want to encourage you to support uh, anyone that is that needs what Charlene has. It may not be you, uh, but I am sure that, you know, know somebody that needs some career coaching or wants to get to the next level in their business. So again, amicaconsultinggroup.com forward slash career coaching. It's a free gift. So don't worry, just do the free gift. Uh, if you're somebody who wants to build a website for yourself and understand how to build a profitable website for yourself, please join the webinar, the six easy steps to building a profitable website for beginners. And again, that's amicaconsultinggroup.com forward slash website. And of course, if you just want to reach out because you don't know where you need to start, uh, go to amicaconsultinggroup.com and, uh, and contact Charlene and tell her you heard about her from the show and that you were interested in something that she said, because she said a lot, a lot of really great things what's coming in the future for her is big and there's many parts and pieces to it she wants to empower kids she wants to empower women and and men of color to be in the web and IT design space to pe for people to get out of their own disempowering beliefs that they can't get a better job or they can't get they can't make more money or that they're stuck in their job without a degree. As you've heard today, none of those things are true. So we want to elevate your career path. We want to help you do it. And I don't think I've ever had a resource like you on here, Charlene. Actually, mm -hmm. I've never talked about websites on this show. I've never talked about career building or coaching on this show ever. So this is literally a first. So you were the first. <laughs> First and only right now. Um, and, and obviously you can probably hear she's just a wonderful person and a wonderful mom and a wonderful friend and a great supporter uh, to all everybody in the group as well as to me. So I really appreciate and honor and value you as a person, as a business owner, as a woman, and as a friend and as a client. So I thank you so much for trusting in me to be part of this adventure that I'm on. And I'm yes. glad that you found you benefit from it. Absolutely. Thank you so much, JJ. This has been fun. I really enjoyed it.